Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard and this is Lap of the World. We join you today from uh, Smoky Stadium just outside Knoxville, Tennessee, which is one of the East Tennessee Region SCCA's uh, two or three remaining autocross venues. And that is exactly what we're here for. I'm out here again for the first time in a little while running with the ETR crowd. Uh, I was a regular probably between 2007 and 2013, but uh, having kind of moved out of the area, come back, and then been focused more on track stuff, I haven't been as, uh, as usual a suspect out here. But uh, in the interest of finding out if the NSX will put up with a 45-minute road trip, followed by some cone dodging, as well as kind of seeing how rusty I am, here we are today. The situation is such as it is, we have an interesting course layout. It's kind of a uh, little bit of a drag start down to a really tight hairpin. Uh, and then your kind of usual autocross elements, a couple of kind of a little lane change into a slalom, a couple of 90 degree turns. Well, I say 90, 90 ish degree turns uh, and some little quick short shoots, I think uh, should be fun. But again, the, the goal here today is to see if the NSX will, uh, will pass muster. Uh, so <laughs> the TLDR, have fun, don't break things. But uh, anyway, I got to get over to the driver's meeting. I'll pick you guys up from inside the car. Okay. Thanks, sir. guys so I got in a little bit of a rush I'm rejoining you actually after my first run which was entertaining uh, the uh, you know having probably been one of the first like 10 or 15 cars off the track you near know, track surface the the lot surface that we're running on has not been there's you know hasn't been rubbered in there's not any temperature there uh, there's also not any temperature in my tires so it was a bit a little bit slidey there uh, I might have got a little bit of a of a squirrely uh, uh, start, and then uh, I think it did pretty well. The hairpin is kind of painful. Uh, this car doesn't have the best turning radius, and I'm having to uh, rev match into first gear. But that also gave me the torque to kind of wiggle out of the second section. I don't know. I may try. I'll probably try the second run all in second gear just to see. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. That's over analysis of the actual autocross that's happening. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the good news is I was all over everything RPM wise and uh, the car engine hasn't done anything weird and uh, I was mostly able to wrestle it through intuitively with uh, steering and things like that so all good there uh, I'll give you a quick update maybe on on the field I'm running today against uh, uh, <laughs> at least a 996 turbo that may or may not be stock probably isn't stock if it's running in this class uh, as well as a uh, my friend Bradley and his uh, the flying gas can that is a uh, supercharged Lotus Elise. Uh, so that's always a, always a fun uh, <laughs> fun battle there. I suspect he's going to have me today though because this is definitely a uh, uh, kind of lightweight or small car point and shoot style course in my opinion. But uh, anyway, we'll see. On to run two.
right, so having dealt with the kind of uh, tricky parking situation and grid, let me give you an update. The, I thought I'd gotten lucky there and gotten a rerun even though I hit cones. That was not the case. Uh, I coned away what would have been the second place time. Uh, ETR does this uh, live timing on their uh, on their site, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I coned away what would have put me in second place. So currently I am last. Yes, I am dead last at the moment. However, if I can replicate the run I just did, which was I did all in second gear this time, obviously, except for the start, because I was going to try that going back and forth, but I, yeah, I don't know if, I, if I'm <laughs> if, if I'm going quicker anyway in second, I'm not sure I want to abuse my synchros that much to go a fraction faster, considering I, I'm not getting paid to do any of this. But uh, yeah, so car behaving pretty well, though still, uh, on to run number three. So quick update before our fourth run, if I'm counting correctly here. I'm still losing, not as badly though, uh, except for to the uh, Lotus, which is murdering everybody. I think uh, he's two seconds clear of where I am. That's run four in the books. Uh, I'm still losing, not by quite as much. Uh, <laughs> my progression has gone today from like a 40 second run to a 38 and a half second run. This last one, I, I coned away a 38.2. I've kind of recovered that now and I'm at a 38.0. So I'm losing by two one thousandth of a second to uh, a <laughs> Remember my friend John Coatney, who run, uh, runs 10Fab, that did the powder coating on my valve covers uh, and the wheels for the Lamborghini? So he's beating me by a two thousandth of a second in a Razor side-by-side. -side. And then we are both being uh, manhandled by uh, Bradley and his Lotus Elise by uh, like a second and a half uh, to between him and second place. And that's like two seconds for, uh, back to me. So... Uh, <laughs> Turning radius is a thing on this course, and uh, I ain't got. Uh, I'm having to pinch off this first. Uh, I have not gracefully done, I don't think, this first uh, first hairpin quite yet. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should. Uh, where's all my all my drift boys out there? And I'll start with a handbrake at a you know 50 yards and come in sideways. And it doesn't I don't I don't think this car would drift like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, it is behaving itself though. I just checked in the uh, and there is it's not pushing any coolant. The temperature gauge when it's running is staying dead level. Uh, you know, I've kind of kept it. I've alternated between keeping it idling uh, between runs and turning it off and back on between runs just to see if that makes a difference. Again, this is mainly a test session. Although I am being a competitive person, it does entertain me to be kind of at least like in the conversation for a potential podium, uh, if not a class win. Uh, but that's uh, that's the East Tennessee region for you. Uh, uh, this crowd ain't slow. Anyhow, I think we've got one more run, I suspect, uh, and then I will pick you guys up with kind of an after-action report from there.
All right, well, parked up after our last run. I think no matter what we do, we're not going to improve, uh, or positionally anyway. Uh, although we did improve our time a bit. We got down to a 37.9. So I think that's a nice place to be uh, after our last run there. Uh, <laughs> not everybody has quite finished their final runs yet, though, so I will let you guys know what happened back in the paddock. All right, folks, we are back in the paddock, and yeah, I know it's an outdoor event, but I don't get my second shot until later this week, so the hell of I'm going to F it up now. Um, <laughs> we had uh, five successful runs. The car behaved itself completely well. Uh, actually handled pretty well as well. I, there's a little bit of uh, my concerns about the steering. I still reserve the right to change my mind, but right now I feel like things are probably going pretty well. Uh, but that's really all I was out to do today is go and do something enthusiastic with a car that involved driving it a few highway miles, uh, you know, just 45 minutes away in this case, and then do something kind of vigorous with it such that I'm at least, if I'm going to break the car right away, I want to break the car within my uh, AAA towing distance <laughs> of my house versus uh, running off six plus hours to a track somewhere and then breaking the car. So uh, fortunately, we have not done so. So I will be able to head back home and probably upload this at some point on Tuesday, I'm gonna guess. But uh, anyhow, I thank you all for joining me on this little autocross vlog. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed, this means we can go out and uh, sign up for some actual track events. But uh, until that happens, again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, we are nearly at 3,000 subscribers. Uh, which is uh, one tenth of the mileage, uh, or no, I'm sorry, one one hundredth of the of the mileage that's on the car right now. But uh, <laughs> maybe we'll get to that number sometime too, both mileage and subscribers. But 300,000 miles should happen easily in 2021. Uh, if I ever end up with that many subscribers, I will be over the moon. But uh, anyway. That's what we're going to call it for today. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Richard. This is Lap of the World, and I will see you guys all in the next video, if not at the track.